have flown. I have sailed. I have moved about this world of ours. And ever in search of the finest of its kind, we bring you the tops in Spine Chillers. The Creaking Door. The manufacturers of State Express 3-5 Silter King cigarettes take pleasure in presenting The Creaking Door. taste of new smooth State Express 3.5s today. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. It's a blend that has been perfected after years of constant research by our master blenders and the recent development of an entirely new process which gives you an even smoother 3.5 smoke. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. Move in world class. Get the taste of new smooth Fate Express 35 today. done to it is ugly. It must have been beautiful a couple of hundred years ago. Look as if that mine shut down altogether. That's funny. Mind if I have a look at this place? The deserted coal mine? Why not you must? It won't take us long. If it did run out, it would be rather interesting, wouldn't it? Well, to you, I suppose. Come along. You don't have to be intelligent, but uh, you have to be interested. <laughs> Many of the early coal mines in Wales were open cast workings. Those that weren't, such as this one, never went down particularly deep. There was a hand ladder down the side of the pit shaft. Anne wasn't too keen, so she stayed on the surface while I descended the ladder. There were three levels, and I reached the deepest one quite easily. <coughs> there must be easier way. Now the torch. sound of death about them. I admit I didn't stop to find out. I scrambled back up that ladder in double quick time. Anne was waiting impatiently for me on the surface. <laughs> well, let's get out of here. What's the matter? You look as if you've seen a ghost. I didn't see anything, but I heard enough. Come on, let's get back to the car. I need a drink. 
Well, that would have been the old fellow. My night force didn't close down his last couple of years. Why did they close it down? Because the men refused to work there, that's why. After they brought up those bodies. What bodies? Oh, well, there was a cave in, you know. I was only a lad at the time, but I remember it well. Three men were trapped. Took them two days to dig them out. When they did, two of them were dead. Horribly dead. And the third, well, he's been more or less out of his mind ever since. The stain of him, Captain. Well, that plus the fact that they were breathing bad air, I suppose. Could damage the brain. Wasn't that at all? Oh, you was the third man. He's sitting over there. What? Why don't you have a word with him? Like a straight, Mr. Oh, they call me you. I'll have a pint of beer just now, thanks. Busy at the moment. So this is my wife, Anne. Uh, Hugh would like to um, have a word with him, if you don't mind. Oh, I don't mind. <laughs> what about? What do you want to talk about? It doesn't sound that. My friend, I don't mind either. But I don't suppose you can see them. Your friend? Yeah, next to me. They won't bother you, though. It's me they're interested in. Making sure I don't talk too much. Uh, talk about what? Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so what do you want to talk about, then? Uh, the mines, the well and oh, mines. Oh, the mines. The barman says that you were the only survivor of a disaster there. A cave in. That's right. Only I didn't survive, really. Not really. I'm, um... I'm a geologist. I'm very interested in that old mine. Looks to me as if there's still plenty of coal down there. Oh, plenty. Tons and tons and tons of it. Plenty, boy. So why is no one worth it anymore? Can't get nobody to go down there. Not after the sacrifices. I was lucky. I might have been sacrificed to you. I don't understand. Mm. Sacrifice? Oh, who would have sacrificed you? The druid. The druid down there in the mine. They would have done it. I looked at the old man. He was smiling at me, with a look on his face that was far from mad. But he didn't expect me to believe what he said. I considered the possibility that he was having a joke at the stranger's expense. I'd heard of the Druids, of course. The ancient Celtic people who had inhabited that part of the world before the Romans landed in 66 BC. An ancient cult. Their secrets lost in antiquity. But I did remember that they were known to have had temples where they carried out human sacrifices. Like Stonehenge, for instance. I prodded you with a promised drink, and he started on his story. There was me, Owen Williams, and Reese David. Just the three of us. Oh, for a long time before that, we'd been bothered with strange things happening in that mine. Everyone was on edge, like. Well, what sort of thing? Well, there was the time the pit train ran itself. Pit train? Did they have trains down there? Oh, used to have. Strings of trucks filled with the coal and pulled by ponies in those days. Never saw the light today, some of them ponies. Born down there. Died down there. <laughs> this one, day, though. Oh, so long ago now, it seems like another life. We was walking along number three level. Singing a bit. When we heard the train come in. like a butt out of darkness. A man stood. A man. A ghost. I don't want to see. And he was lashing with a long branch, like a whip, as if he were driving some sort of a chariot. Only there were no horses. Just those little pit ponies. Traveling as if... as if the devil himself were behind them. Their eyes white with terror. And it was quite impossible that little things like that could pull that number of trucks at that speed. But they did. They did, they galloped. 
trying to get away from the thing to which they were harming. Doctor, doctor, with that mad savage standing on it. And he was laughing, laughing and screaming and whipping at the ponies. And he wasn't really there at all. I knew that. But who would believe us? We decided to say nothing about it. Pity, because if we had, well, maybe Owen and Elise would be alive today. They were the ones who were trapped with you? That's right. Well, it wasn't just that train. Other things happened. The cage dropped two levels. Lucky there was no one inside it. And then came that day. Oh, and Rees and me, pals we were, good pals. We used to sing in the choir together. Oh, fine, tenor old Owen. Hope he gets a chance to sing wherever he's gone. But he didn't sing that day. He screamed. We all did. Screamed in terror. We were working in number five working. A new face hadn't been worked long, just the three of us. Owen and me working with the picks, and the knees shoveling into the trucks. Then I slapped on the rump of the lead pony, and off they would drop to that road, while I stayed at a breather till they came back again. Take a breather, boy. We're not working on bonus. Oh, I'm right, it's nice, it's boy. Oh, boy. That's up your road, eh, don't it? Right, then. Me, I just sleep, so it doesn't matter whether it's night or day to me. What time is it now? Midnight. Yes, midnight, I think. Give or take a few minutes. Only another four hours, and then back up, top, boy. The lights are gone out. Oh, the key, they would have done that. Oh, don't worry. They know where you are. Won't take them long. the taste of new smooth State Express 3.5 today. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. It's a blend that has been perfected after years of constant research by our master blenders. And the recent development of an entirely new process which gives you an even smoother 3.5 smoke. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. Move in world class. Get the taste of new smooth State Express 3.5 today. Broken, I think. Terrible pain if I try to move it. Don't move it. 
What? What's all going on? He stabbed me? Somebody stabbed me? What? In the arm. Look, blood. Blood. Again? Happened again? Oh, for heaven's sake. They're, they're trying to kill me. They're stabbing me with knives. Leave me alone. What are you trying to do to me? Leave me alone. They're cutting me up. Look at the blood all over the place. Somebody's cutting me to pieces. He's got fed up with us interfering or trespassing on their holy place. He was making a sacrifice out of Odo and cutting him with their holy knives. Oh, terrible. Horrible. And he took a long time to die. He's gone, you. He's gone. What can have done it? Look at the cut, the stab. And no rat. Couldn't have been rats anyway. Look at the wound. And you saw him, really? He just appeared before your eyes. As if he were being stabbed with an invisible knife. We've we got to get out of here. We've got to, you. Now, boy, how are we going to get out? We're trapped down here. There's nothing we can do until the rescue party finds us. They'll never find us. Not alive. We'll be dead by the time they get here. We'll all be dead like, like poor old Owen was killed. Well... Why don't they finish this off now? What are you waiting for, whoever you are? What are you waiting for? Finish it off now and get it done with! Ah. Please, please, shut up, boy! Shut your mouth, please! Shut up, boy! Now, just pull yourself together, boy. That's not going to help at all. Not at all, now. But what did he do? Well, 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 what did there you are. Do, do you believe in ghosts, you? I never have, but I've been thinking. What else can it be? That singing. I never read singing like that before. I think I know what it is, boy. Remember, there's been talk on and off for years about this mine. Old Llewellyn had trouble originally when he tried to sink the first shaft. Supposed to be the site of an old druid temple. Those were the voices we heard. Ghosts of long dead druid priests. You mean we. Where we are now must have been a holy place. I can't think of nothing else. But what about Owen? How did he die? Those rifles, and where did they come from? I think I know the answer to that, too. The druids used to make human sacrifices. You don't mean that Owen was. Yes, yes, I do, boy. Remember the time it started? Just after midnight. What's impossible, I know, but how else do you explain it? They cut him and stabbed him until he died. They made a sacrifice of him. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, I wouldn't believe it myself if it wasn't for my two friends here. Yeah? The friends nobody can see but me. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, you don't believe me, I know. I don't blame you. Sometimes I don't believe it myself. But there you are, all right. They're smiling and nodding now. They never leave me. Waiting for me for their third sacrifice, you see. Well, go on with your story. Oh, all right then. I had a feeling somehow that we were safe until midnight the next night. Something told me that this was the time when they carry out their next human sacrifice. And then the next midnight, the third one. Our only chance, Reese and me, was to be rescued before midnight came. My leg was bothering me bad by then, and I couldn't help much, but we tried to dig, and we listened to the sounds of the rescue party on the other side. Ah, I'm weak, Bill. Can't dig no more. Take a breather. We're not getting Uh, no bonus. What time is it, Hugh? We've been trapped here over 20 hours. Get it on for 9 o'clock. What was the show? Rescue, boy. Oh, they're working on it. Oh, I need a shovel. I see what I can do. No, no, no. I'll dig. Fresh half, excuse me. I'll dig. Oh, they'll be digging too. Won't take long now, boy. Oh, it won't take long. But what worries me is, 
Will it take till past midnight? And it did take till past midnight. And I remember that midnight as long as I live. If you can call this sort of existence, William, we could hear them working on the other side quite clearly by then. Rescue was very close. There was no doubt about it. But not close enough to save poor Reese. Came midnight, and the chanting started again. Stop coming again. Heaven help us, I'm coming again. Coming for another sacrifice. Quiet. Quiet, it's all about quiet. Not coming for one of us, you. It's either you or me who's going to die. Cut the dirt for those lies you can't see. They'll get through, boy. The rescue people will get through. They've stopped digging. Oh, perhaps they can hear the singing, too. But it's not far. Think your home. Think. I can't hear you, boy. You're wasting your breath. They stopped singing. Which, which one of us is it going to be? I don't know, boy. And I, I don't know what we can do. The only thing I can think of is pray. any good. Not poor is anyway. Just after twelve, they started on him. Oh, I can hear his screams now. Just like Owen. Screams every time they stuck a knife into him. He was a long time dying, too. in time, is that the story? They got you before another 24 hours had elapsed? No, as a matter of fact, they didn't. It was another day and a half before they got me out. But, but how? Why? Why didn't they kill me too? Well, by the time they got me out, I was hearing things. I must have been. Although I don't know. They told me it was my leg that saved me. My leg was broken, you see. And a human sacrifice had to be perfect. Had to be a perfect body to offer up. So I wouldn't do you, see. That's what the voices told me. Well, it's a bloodthirsty story, all right. Oh, do you think it's a story, do you? I don't blame you. I wouldn't believe it myself if somebody told me. Well, anyway, you were lucky to escape the cave in, weren't you? I didn't escape. They're waiting for me, you see. That's why these two are always with me. I have to be sacrificed because I designated the only place. And these two are just wasted. You mean the well, at first, you see, I just waited till my leg got better. Then I got the dose of the flu. Oh, they're waiting until I'm all right. And then they'll kill me too. Won't you? <laughs> yes. They're not in their heads. Some you know, I got quite used to them after all these years. I expect to be smiling when they put the knives in. That's why people think I'm mad, you see. Well... We, we must be getting along. Oh, well, of course. Thank you very much for the beer. Oh, thanks for telling me the story. I know you don't believe it. But it's true. Well, it looks peaceful enough, the mine. It wasn't true, was it? It couldn't have been true. No, it... It couldn't, but there's one thing worries me. What's that? Well, it could have just been an old man's story to get drinks out of strangers, but if that's all there is to it, 
What was that chanting that I heard when I went down the mine? I can hear it too. of new smooth State Express 3.5 today. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. It's a blend that has been perfected after years of constant research by our master blenders. And the recent development of an entirely new process which gives you an even smoother 3.5 smoke. We promise you, it's the smoothest cigarette you can get. Move in world class. Get the taste of new smooth State Express 3.5 today. This is your host back again. Just a reminder of our rendezvous next week. Where are we going? Through the creaking door, of course. <laughs> the manufacturers of State Express 3-5 Filter King cigarettes invite you to listen next Saturday at 9 o'clock when they will again present The Creaking Door.